It just smells so clean yet so potent at the same time. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on Mr. Smelly's fragrance of Gravitas Pour Homme. Now I know he has come out with a new fragrance, but he actually did send this for me to review a little while ago, and I actually really, really enjoyed this fragrance, but I kind of felt a little pressured to get that review out fast, so I, I really tested this, I really liked it, and then I kind of got buried in all my fragrances, and I haven't had a chance to re-smell it, retest it, do anything like that. So here we are today, and I've actually just given it tons of wearings, and I gotta say, I really, really do enjoy this scent for what it does, and there's not really too many fragrances that remind me of something specifically like this and I really do like it. Let's jump into the notes of this fragrance. The notes are lavender, mandarin, bergamot, cardamom, coriander, pepper, vanilla, patchouli, oak moss, and ambergris. Now this fragrance in my opinion smells like a great mix of a classic gentleman's fragrance and all the likable nuances of fragrances of today. Now I gotta be honest, there's a certain kind of dated quality that I smell in certain fragrances and you know usually they're by people who are much older than me and so I think it was like a little bit of an older type of smell maybe it's that lavender so anytime that I smell that kind of classic men's fragrance in there it always kind of takes it away from it happy land fragrances has some really really good fragrances that are like that and they're kind of changing my opinion on it because happy land fragrances and gravitas pour Homme do this classic DNA so 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 good to the point where I almost wouldn't even say it's a con. I just find this fragrance really enjoyable, really masculine, really ritzy. Okay, situations I would use this for. Work, I think this is great. This is probably the greatest situation to use it for. I, in my opinion, it just smells really good, but it's just got a classic gentleman's vibe to it. I think work would be the probably the best. Date is okay. It's just a classic gentleman's fragrance. I think it would smell good on a date, but I think most guys would go for something a little bit more sexy. Just those typical nighttime fragrances. This is just a gentleman's fragrance, so I think it would just be okay. The gym, I would say this is just okay. I would definitely go one spray on this because it definitely, it has some good projection and you don't wanna like choke people out. I think if you were to spray once, this would give you a nice little masculine vibe to your workout. So I think it's just okay. It doesn't really scream winter or summer to me. Probably best in the fall and the spring. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has a very high quality ritzy vibe to it. Uh, it's hard for me to describe. It just smells so clean yet so potent at the same time and I just really, really like it. And for some reason the word ritzy is how I would describe this fragrance because in my opinion it just has a very high quality and ritzy vibe and absolutely nothing off-putting in my opinion for being so strong. It's nice that it doesn't really have too much of an off-putting vibe because there is some definite strength to this fragrance. Uh, another pro is that it has very above average projection, very, very solid, very enjoyable. Again, the one thing I really liked about it is that it rides this line of designer and niche, and I think some of those are some of the best fragrances out there. Um, Layton is another one of those to where it kind of smells simple enough that it could be a designer, but then it's also so clean that it makes you think the oils have to be niche because of how clean it smells. That's kind of how I would describe this fragrance. The last pro of this one is that it has a great presentation. I've always enjoyed it. And it's interesting that Mr. Smelly is a fragrance reviewer and you know we deal with so many different opinions on a day-to-day -day basis. So he really nailed the hammer on the head with this one in all aspects, even the presentation in my opinion. Okay, the cons, to be honest, I really almost don't have any. If I were to say, one is that it has a little bit, I would say in the range of five to 10% of that dated vibe, but it's hard for me to even say that's a con because I enjoy this fragrance so, so much and I get so, so little of it. And this fragrance is almost even convincing me to try more fragrances with that classic kind of smell to it. I'm not really sure what it is, probably, probably the lavender or patchouli, one of the two, it just has a little bit of a classic vibe. And then it's also not super, super cheap. I think this fragrance was about $100, maybe like 110-ish USD. I don't know about other prices, but I'll have to retest it. So it's not super, super cheap, but I almost feel it's fair for how high quality this fragrance is because like I said, I haven't really smelled anything like it. It's really strong projection, it's really clean, and it almost dances in between a niche and a designer. I just like it that much. Smell rating, I'd give this a solid 8.5. 
Um, if I was more into those classic scents, probably into a nine because this is just so ritzy, high class, enjoyable, strong projection. I like it. Likeability, I'm probably going to give it an eight to an 8.5. It definitely has just a, a strong masculine vibe to it. And again, a little bit of that dated vibe, which is probably going to turn the smallest bit of people off but it also might bring people in because there's a lot of people who like that kind of DNA. So I'm gonna have to go a solid eight for likability. And then longevity and projection, I would give this a solid, I'm kind of floating in between an eight to an 8.5. This has very, very, very good projection. If a fragrance that's really bad, I will rate it as low as like a 4.5 to a five. So when a fragrance is average, you know, I go seven, 7.5. So this is a definite eight, maybe even 8.5. Very good projection. Really enjoyed this fragrance and it's highly recommended. If you're a little bit of an older gentleman, I would say, you know, anybody could like this fragrance. Maybe you would, but I would say somebody 35 plus, this would be perfect for if you want a classic gentleman's fragrance, kind of balancing some of the new aspects of fragrances with the classic aspects. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.